How's it going everybody? This is Golden Vault and welcome back for some more Pokemon Leave Green. In the last part, we totally destroyed Lance, the last member of the Elite Four, who told us that Greeny the Meanie was waiting for us on the other side of this door as he is the new league champion. Now, if Greeny's not a long fight, then I don't know what's gonna happen. I would picture he would be, but oh, there he is, the jerk himself. Hey, Gold. I was looking forward to seeing you, Gold. <laughs> my rival should be k strong to keep me sharp. Gold, why are you not saying my name over and over again? Anymore, at least. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Dun dun dun, Gold, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world! Yes, our final battle with the one and only Greeny the Meanie. Here it is, another custom sprite as far as I know. Champion Greeny would like to battle. Starting off sending out Pidgeot here. Knows the moves, Aerial Lace, Sand Attack, Feather Dance, and Whirlwind. Now, his team varies depending on what uh, starter you picked. So, this one, I'm keeping the sidebars as they would be for me. But I'll put in a little annotation of what the Pokemon would be in its place and what the moves would be. Just so, just so that you guys know. I don't want to keep you guys totally in the dark. That is why we're sending out Blitzkrieg here, and I'm a dummy, and I forgot about giving him a elixir again. But that's good, because it looks like we took down half his health, so we're going to either get rid of his Pidgeot here, or he's going to be stuck with barely any health. And he's stuck with barely any health. So go ahead and use your full restore. Uh, I should have used my ether elixir right there. That would have been a smart idea. Oh well. That's fine. NBD, no, I'm not too worried if this uh, battle goes over or if it takes a lot longer. I envision it. What? With Drew Pidgey? Ah, that's weird. Sending out Rhydon, I guess. And now Shockwave's not going to do anything. Thanks a lot. Well, Rhydon uh, is a ro ground rock type. Knows the moves Rock Tomb, Earthquake, Takedown, and Scatty Face. So naturally, we're going to switch out here to Roshu. Sitting here withdrawing? Really? Alright, then I'll withdraw also. Nice try there, buddy boy. I saw what you were trying to do. Oh no, my speed! That is That was so high already, is already low. What? And I'm still faster than you. We're going to use Hydro Cannon. There we go, quad weakness. Right on, yep, I was going to say right on. Should not survive this. And just give me one second. I'll be... In fact, give me like two seconds. I say that as if I'm not gonna cut. Like, uh, I'm gonna actually like walk away. Hey, I'm Blitzkrieg leveled up. But we're good. Gonna send out Venusaur, yep. We're gonna switch. Venusaur might pose a bit of a problem here. Just saying. We'll send out uh, Qcon, and if we have a problem, we still got Diababa. Alright, Venusaur is over 10, yeah, over 10 levels higher than Ninetales. Knows the moves Growth, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, and Synthesis. I will be putting on my annotation what the other of uh, the other uh, relative starters would be and the moves that they would have at this moment. Well, it looks like we're not doing we're doing all right. <laughs> sunny Day, <laughs> this is gonna backfire on you like so badly, Venusaur. <laughs> it doesn't even matter that you're using a Citrus Berry because Sunny Day ups Fire type moves. And look what I got here. Uh, the reason he does have Sunny Day, though, is so Solar Beam can be used in one attack, but it also it backfires because it ups the power of fire. Kind of like how Rain Dance makes the Thunder hit, it ups the power of water. I'm gonna use Gyarados. We just defeated a Gyarados. <coughs> We're gonna see what we can do with a Shockwave this time. Blitzkrieg has actually seen a lot of action. I pictured him not to so much. Turk hasn't seen like any. Alright, Gyarados, level 59, knows the moves Hydro Pump, Bite, Dragon Rage, and Thrash. So we're gonna see if, what uh, Shockwave can do here. Come on! Not bad, let's hope he doesn't use something ridiculous. Uh, thrash, he, thrash, he uses the move oh, over and over again. There's a downside about that. Mm -mm -mm. Go, my man. Kind of pointless, but go, my man. <clears throat> this battle's actually pretty exciting. No! Shoot! Dang it. 
We'll just use Magical Leaf, I guess. It's just gonna do normal. It's damage, it's not gonna be super effective or anything. Ugh, that's normal damage. Dang it, I didn't know I had no PP left on, uh, freaking Psychic. Yay, and it ends with you being confused out of fatigue. I... Son of a B. Alright, should've used a, uh... I'm not, for some reason I'm not anticipating him using the full restores, even though I know what's gonna happen and I've drilled it into my brain enough, saying he's gonna use full restore. Huh. I do have an elixir, right? I hate to have to use these kinds of items in a battle because I definitely shouldn't have to, but, um... Restores all of his moves, so I just have an ether. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to do that just yet. You know. Bring Psychic back, see what we can do here. Don't hurt me, please. That was probably pointless, because I'm probably going to die. Yep. Alright, I guess we can just fly. You can just use fly and dodge everything he does. That sounds... I mean, that's not the best idea, but it's a pretty safe plan. Especially, yeah, I was going to say, especially because he's going to get confused this next turn. Let's see what fly does. Ugh. Man, Diababa, I wish you would hit hit yourself. Oh snap! Uh, come on, freeze him. Do something awesome. <laughs> come on, do something cool. Freeze him. Freeze him. Hit yourself, please. He's gonna hit me. I know he is. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Diababa. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there we go. I knew that was going to be a problem. <laughs> it's like, you, fighting Gyarados without an Electric-type Pokemon is pretty much hell. This is kind of suicide, but... At this point... I don't really care. Come on, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him! Aww. Oh, you don't have to do that to me, that's pretty screwed up. Alright. Alright, Roshi. Let's just get rid of this thing. Oh my god, I should've used Blizzard. You already used your, a full restore like twice on this Pidgeot, I'm pretty sure. Well, either way, we're using Blizzard. Oh! Why now, Roshi? Oh, 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 oh! Yay! There it goes. Third time's the charm, I guess. It's probably a stupid move for me to use it again, but at this point, I don't even care. You can use Alakazam. Huh. Might be a bad idea, but I kind of want to see if we can. If we can get Alakazam stuck in a confusion, then that'd be nice. So he, because he's got some powerful moves. All right, Alakazam level 57 knows a move: Psychic, Future Sight, Reflect, and Recover. And here's Psychic right off the bat. Not good. Not good. At all. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh man. He hits like a truck. Please don't kill me! Oh man, that was crazy! Come on, Hydro Cannon. Be awesome, please. And that's how you do it! That is how you get- that is how you revenge kill an Alakazam. Hydro Cannon. Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Whatever. And his last Pokémon, last but definitely not least, is Arcanine. Fire-type Pokemon, level 61, knows moves, Flamethrower, Bite, Extreme Speed, and Roar, which it's going to use right now. Sadly, because I couldn't switch out. Why did I not switch out? Ho! Oh, what? Roshi, dude! Don't you freaking do that to me! <laughs> Don't you do that to me, man! Holy crap! Oh, I was going to say, I can't just do this with Turk. Turk sucks. No, Turk doesn't suck, but... Kind of. Cell phone! Don't call me. I'm busy right now if you can't tell. <laughs> Flamethrower. 
Oh, greeny. Just drown, please. Oh, he's gonna use a four star. So we'll hydro cannon. If we can pull off this hydro cannon, I'm pretty sure Arcanine's not gonna live through it. If it took that much damage from Surf, Hydro Cannon is gonna be pretty powerful. Roshi is. Pr yes! Nice! That was a sweet battle, Greeny. Although I don't like you at all, that was a pretty sweet battle. Defeated Champion Greeny! No, that can't be! You beat me at my best after all that work to become the League Champ! My reign is over already, it's not fair! It's very fair, it's very fair. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Well, apparently you did. Also, I got lucky because Blastoise left. I was sit there, sitting there with 1 HP. Holy crap, and I had to use an item, whatever. Although, I don't like to admit it. Gold! So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Squirtle to work on the Pokedex. Yes, I have come of age. Greeny, I'm disappointed in you. Wh why? He was the League champion. <laughs> and there's the source of many internet jokes right there. Multiple internet jokes have been caused because of that phrase right there. Just... Ugh. When I got here, you had already lost. Greeny, do you understand why you lost? I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, that was a pretty sweet battle. I'm, I'm kind of on Greeny's side with this. You'll never become a champ. That's pretty screwed up, man. He is your grandson. You, He was league champ. He was just as good as I was. <laughs> Whatever. Gold, come with me. Oak, secretly a douche. Ahem, congratulations, Gold. The floor is the po this floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Gold, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congrats, Gold. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers! Hooray! Now we get to see the awesome Hall of Fame sequence. Alright. Don't turn off the power. Don't worry, I won't. Don't you worry about it, game. Blitzkrieg! Mimeon! Roshi, I would do my a cool animation myself, but I don't feel like it. Turk! Diabala! And Qcon! Welcome to the Hall of Fame, you colorful bunch of people, except most of you are brown. And there's me. Yeah, ignore the... That playtime might be a little overdone, I mean, at least in parts, be, uh, uh, because um, a good amount of that time was spent doing off-screen training, and sometimes I left the game on. But you never know. And, uh, oh, oh god, there goes Greeny. He just ran out, he got, he got kicked out, Oak just booted him right out of the freaking Indigo Plateau. And that is it, Oak just walks away. And now I'm going to epically stand here before looking back one last time, and running, and run in place, and that is it, everybody. That concludes the game. And now we get to look at the credits. Yeah, this will be a long part. I could split this up, but I really don't want to. Because, I mean, epic final battle plus credits in the same episode kind of sounds good. There's one name in here that I remember laughing at so much when I was a kid. I don't know what the name was, or where it is, but I remember it was like by itself, and it was really, really funny. No offense, but I don't know, it just sounded funny. Alright, so that's about, that is the, that is the game. Ken Sugimori, I love you. There it is, Go Itchy Nose! Go Itchy Nose! That's the funny name. Go Itchy Nose again! That was the name. Like, Go Itchy Nose. We don't need to see that out. Get that out of here. We don't want no Charizard. But yeah, that... This is, as I've said, this is the end of the game. We have beaten all of the main game. That's really it. Game scenario. Hitomi Sato. And we get to see all the areas we've ran across. And everything. Um, yeah. Pokedex text. Cool. Some guy actually credited for that. That's cool. Yeah, we actually go through all the old towns and see everything again. 
It's cool. I like it. Um, the weird thing is the whole running while the ground moves beneath you thing. Get that junk out of here. We don't want to see that either. Boo. All right. There we go. Uh, hmm. I don't know what else to say. Well, I guess I can leave you guys this question if you're watching at this point. If not, if if I don't get like a decent amount of responses or anything, then I mean, I will assume that nobody watched it and I'll just do whatever I feel like doing, but um yeah. Here's I'm going to give you guys two scenarios now that this game is over. Well, scenario 1, there is an after game. A long it's not nearly as long as this. It might be like 20 episodes at the absolute most, but that's including everything, because you can fight the Elite Four again, but that would be the last thing we do. Whoa, epic Blastoise face! Um, oh, look, more custom sprites. Look at this. He's got, like, 80s dance pants on. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that, here's, the one scenario is we do the after game right now. Like, we start up the after game afterwards. The second scenario is... We start a new LP, complete that LP, and then come back to this. Now I'm not sure how that would work out so well because I am going to college in, a, in a, like three-ish, three or four, a little less than four weeks is when I leave for college. Now I'm still going to upload there on a regular basis, or as regular as it is, but that will be a lot more Twitter cause because, uh, yeah, I'm going to... That, that'll have, have to rely on a lot of stuff, but I'm still going to keep this channel up. I'm still going to do Let's Plays regularly. Um, yeah, so that's scenario one. Do the after game right now, after this, directly afterwards, or scenario two, we will come back to this LP after we do another LP. Like, I have the next Let's Play all set up. If you guys want to see that, it's not Paper Mario. That's kind of a side project that's kind of been a baby I dropped. But yeah, if that's... Those are the two scenarios. So leave me a comment, and uh, just tell me what you guys want to do. And we're here with the end screen, because that is really the end of the game. That is the main game ending. So scenario one, to recap again, uh, start the new, is uh, go on to the after game. I guess we'll just go to the title screen now. Or scenario two, um... Do a new Let's Play, and come back to the after game after that Let's Play is complete. I already have the next Let's Play planned out, it's already all set up. Just, uh, just let me know what you want to do. Well, I guess that's about it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe, give me a good thumbs up rating, and check out my other ones for more videos like this one. This has been Golden Vault, and I will see you guys next time.